It's Friday, so that means another hashtag YWPI feature, and I'm joined today by Maddie Frederick of the Women's Soccer Program, and Maddie's a junior here at WPI. Maddie, thanks for joining us. Hi, thank you. I uh, can't say that we have many people from uh, from Nevada here at WPI, and uh, uh, you join us from the great city of Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, tell us how you got here. Um, so I was a junior going to a bunch of recruiting camps. Um, it actually went to one in Boston, um, and I had never heard of WPI, but I'd emailed the coach because when I was looking for schools, I was looking for some place where I felt like the athletics were competitive, but the also the um, academics were really strong. Um, and so coach, um, I spoke to her once at camp and then she invited me to campus. We're talking I, about coach Riley Schaefer. Coach yep. Schaefer, yes. Yep. Um, and I was like, yeah, why not? Like, I haven't looked at a lot of campuses, like this will be interesting. So um, do you now have to go back to Las Vegas or are you going to do it from Boston? S s stop here. From Boston. The next day we drove to campus. Wow. Yeah. And so she had quite the impact on you. Oh, yes, definitely. I was very excited. And I fell in love immediately. She it was just us over the summer and she took us around campus and we talked. And by the what time, the, what was the first thing you saw when you got on campus? What's the first thing like you remember seeing? We went to the rec center and so there was a goat statue and I was like, here we go. She brought me in the athletic center and I was like, wow, it's so nice. <laughs> um, and then we just like, it was just my family and coach. And she just talked to us for maybe like an hour and a half. And I'm a very indecisive person. But by the time we left, I was like, I'd like to commit. Thank you. And my mom was like, no, <laughs> you need to think. You need to think. We need to look at everything here. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I was set. Uh, love at first sight almost, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so to be clear, you came to the East Coast for a soccer camp, hadn't even heard of WPI. Nope. And then we're the one for you. Yep. So That's you that. committed what, is, uh, this is going into your senior year. This is going into my senior year. Um, so then senior year, I kept in contact with coach, um, kept her updated. And then I think January of senior year, I just had like one of those normal conversations with coach. Like I called her up and I was like, so I'd like to commit. And she was like, have you thought this through? And I was like, very much, this is what I want. Oh, that's perfect. And uh, what, what stood out on your visit? What stood out? I mean, obviously you got a good rapport with coach, but um, were you looking for, I know the people coming from warmer climates, sometimes we have to convince the colder climate. Did you do any time here over the non-warm period before you got here? Um, so my dad's actually in the military, so I've moved around a lot. Got it. So I used to live in Germany and that gets pretty cold. I lived in Virginia and they have pretty cold winters. So, okay. So not a total, not a total stranger, to, no. despite the air conditioning. In here, <laughs> I like it cold in here. Yeah. Um, so great. So now, so you commit pretty early during the process. So now you get geared going to Worcester and you're wearing, I'm sure, I'm sure your senior year, you're wearing your, you're sporting the crimson and gray. Are people asking all the time? What's WPI? Oh, yes, all the time. And I just tell them, first I say we're in Boston because no one knows where Worcester is. I'm like, I'm going to Boston. Um, and I just tell them that it's a, a great engineering school and that um, I wanted to be able to get a really great STEM degree while still playing competitively. And Coach very much runs her program um, like the most competitive schools in the nation, I think. And so I was super excited to find that balance. And I'm going to guess you... Nobody from your class is coming to WPI. Is that correct? Anybody coming to the East Coast from your class? How, if I may ask, how big was your class? Um, I graduated with 800 other kids. Okay. So my school was very large. Okay. Um, and I think the furthest we got, like East, or maybe some girls in Iowa. Wow. <laughs> so <laughs> I have a friend actually the year above me who went to the Naval Academy. So she's in Maryland, but the, okay. those are rarities. So you're, so you're on your own. And when you visited, mm -hmm. um, were there any other players around for you to visit in that uh, time that you came after camp or because it's the summer, th there were no players around? There were no players, but I did come back in November for an official visit. So I got it. So that's important. So you step on the campus, you don't know a lot of people, but you do know your teammates. Yeah. And I always think, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, I always think your fall student athletes have a little bit of an advantage because you get to start practice in a normal year, two, three weeks before new student orientation, maybe a week or two before new student orientation. So you obviously know your teammates, you know the other athletes, and, and you just 
kind of get to know campus. Was that a big advantage for you, just uh, getting here before everybody else? Hundred percent. I we joke that by the time all the other freshmen came on campus, we like knew where to go. We were giving them advice. Like we felt like we owned the school already. Um, I think it helped me so much, especially with miss missing my family because they are so far away, and like the three hour time difference doesn't seem like a lot, but it gets to you a little bit. Um, so having especially the upperclassmen to rely on and just support me. And then my roommates had family nearby. So family would take me in for dinners and stuff. It, it helps so much. Are you appreciative? I'm going to be the old man on the soapbox. Are you appreciative that technology has evolved where you can, you can do what we're doing right now with family and friends back home where let's just say somebody on this call may have been in college in the nineties and that really wasn't possible. Like, are you appreciative of that fact? A hundred percent. I, I think I FaceTime my family once a day just because I get bored and I annoy them but it's so nice to be able to see their faces they show me like my dogs which is even better <laughs> uh, so safe to say no regrets to commit net early we're not gonna we, listen we want people to come here we want people to commit early you don't have to commit you don't have to commit on your visit the year before you're here is that correct <laughs> no definitely and I didn't I didn't commit like I know, I know. but no, but, no regrets. But in your mind, in your mind, we were up there. Um, oh, yeah. You know, and and talk about the first year experience. I'm I, 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 I'm gonna guess we met your expectations. Hundred percent. I think just like every other freshman at WPIA term, and like the quarter system was a shock. I got like a B on a test, and I was like, this has never happened before. I don't know what to do. Um, but it lived up to my expectations so much, especially like the lab experiences. I felt so hands on. Um, and by the time I went home in December, I felt like I had learned so much more in comparison to all my other friends who were at school. It was crazy. What do you say to somebody that goes, I can't believe you have to start classes every seven weeks. I, I guess there's some advantages and disadvantages. How do you explain that to your, your friends from back home that are in the 14 or 15 week semester? Yeah, I tell them I love it. I definitely explain that it's, it's more intense, but I also go to class almost every day. So I feel like I get less time breaks in between understanding the material. So I, I understand it a lot quicker. And by the time seven weeks comes and you're getting kind of antsy, kind of bored of a class, it's over and you move on. <laughs> so it really keeps you engaged, I think. And uh, last thing is uh, just uh, talk about how being a student athlete, particularly in the fall, keeps you focused A and B term. Um, I, I, I can't imagine how you do that, but it, it's probably easier for you when you're in your traditional season than it is outside your yeah. A traditional season. Coach likes Explain to that. all the time that we have a higher GPA in season than out of season. Um, I think when you know that, okay, I just got from class, back from class at three, I need to be on the field at 430. You can maximize that time really efficiently knowing that you get like the reward of practice. You get to see your friends, you get to exercise, you get to do what you love to do. Um, and then let's say you have a game the next day, it's motivation that night to get your work done so you can enjoy the game experience and being on the bus versus being stressed about school. Perfect. Well, listen, thank you so much for, uh, uh, for explaining your path on, on how to get here. Uh, I know, uh, obviously you leave a very cool city and in, uh, in Las Vegas in that area and nice to know that you've found your place here in Worcester and Boston and, and that area. And, and I can just tell by, by, uh, by your smile there, how excited, uh, you are to be here at uh, WPI. So thank you for sharing your story and uh, we hope to catch up soon. Thank you.